Topic 5.4 in IB Biology focuses on cladistics, which is a method of classifying used to depict evolutionary relationships and common ancestry between organisms. The base unit used to identify relationships in cladistics is a clade. A clade depicts a group of organisms that have evolved from a common ancestor. Below there are three highlighted colors in this cladogram. The blue and red colors represent true clades because they highlight all organisms after the common point of divergence. What is shown in green, however, is not a true clade because it does not take into account all organisms that arise after the common point of divergence. From this point, the true clade would include all of the following branches. Cladograms are tree diagrams that show the most probable sequence of divergence in clades. With this information, we can begin to identify which organisms share a more recent common ancestor compared to others. For example, take a look at this cladogram of humans and other primates. It shows that humans shared an earlier common ancestor with chimpanzees than with gorillas. And, if we go back far enough, humans share a common ancestor with Old World monkeys here, which also gave rise to all of the other apes in the diagram. Looking at these labels, at what node did humans share a common ancestor with gibbons? If you answered D, you are correct. The best evidence that we can use to construct cladograms comes from gene and DNA sequencing. If we know the DNA differences between species, we can begin to piece together a cladogram, assuming that a higher rate of differences equates to those organisms sharing a more distant common ancestor. Looking at this example, we can compare three DNA sequences from three different species. The first break in the cladogram is seen at site 1, where species 1 and 2 have cytosine instead of adenine. Then, we can further differentiate species 1 and 2 by site 3, because species 1 has adenine and species 2 has thymine. This procedure works by comparing these DNA differences to an ancestral line. Some versions of cladograms show the estimated amount of time the species diverged from a common ancestor. If time is shown, the diagram actually takes a new name called a phylogenetic tree. Scientists can use the correlation between sequence differences and time to construct phylogenetic trees. As you can see in this example, the split from this common ancestor for this clade occurred around 380 million years ago, while the split from this clade occurred around 220 million years ago. This becomes extremely helpful when trying to understand the evolutionary past of organisms on our planet. Evidence from cladistics has shown that comparing organisms by morphology or by structures alone has complications. Take a look at these organisms. If you remove the cladogram and look at the structural similarities of these organisms, you should assume that the shark and the dolphin are more closely related to each other than to the puma. But when you introduce a cladogram based on structural and sequence evidence, you will find that the dolphin and puma are more closely related to each other than to the shark. This can happen because of two different types of evolution. Divergent evolution shows structural similarities based on common ancestry, where convergent evolution shows similar characteristics because of selective pressures in the environment. Take the shark and the dolphin. They have similar structures not because they are closely related, but because they live in similar aquatic environments where similar structures are selected for. Because this selective pressure dictates the similarities, we can say this is due to convergent evolution. As we have learned before, cladograms can also show homologous and analogous structures. Homologous structures are those that have a similar structure but a different function, which exists due to common ancestry through divergent evolution. Analogous structures are defined as when two organisms possess completely different structures that fit the same function. This is due to selective environmental pressures through convergent evolution. Evidence from cladistics has brought about the reclassification of some taxonomy groups. Figwarts, for example, used to be classified into a very large family that contained over 275 different genera. Based on molecular evidence from examining chloroplast DNA, they were reclassified from one clade into five different clades. 
showing more divergence in morphology which made the groupings much more meaningful to scientists and the evolutionary history of the organisms.